Hey there everyone, it's Ashley today we're going to another video. Now on today's, I'm going to be showing you games that Nintendo have copied over and over again. Apart from that, let's go go. Starting up is Super Mario Maker for the Nintendo Wii U. Now yes, this is a very good game, I think it's quite good, like, but then the Wii U version was quite good, yeah I admit that. Then we got a, another version of Super Mario Maker for now for Nintendo 3DS. The worst version that has ever been sold. I t did a review of it once and it was an absolute horrible. Like there's no amiibo stuff on there. You can't search for courses, you can't like comments, leave comments, record your voice or even use amiibos anymore. And then not long ago na we got Super Mario Maker 2. Which is still a good game, I guess, but there's only one new game theme, Super Mario 3D World. And you now can use Slope Share, but this is a quite good, but why is it called Super Mario Maker 2 when it's actually, it should be Super Mario Maker 3? That's what I don't get. Like, Super Mario Maker on the Nintendo 3DS should have been Super Mario Maker 2 for Nintendo 3DS. That's what they could have called it. But I'm not done with that yet. Here's another game that was copied, like... This was the first ever game to induce Sega with Nintendo and the Mario and Sonic. Like, yes, it's okay, but it's not that great of a version. It's a good version. But then, we have another game that has been copied again from Nintendo Wii, now on the Nintendo DS. Which somehow is okay, but it's not that great, though. Then here's a new Mario and Sonic game, London at the London 2012 Olympic Games, yes. It's not really that new, it's basically the same as Mario and Sonic, the original Olympic Games, but they only put London 2012. Yeah. But then, we got another game called Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, and then for the 3DS, which is the probably the best one that was on the 3D Nintendo 3DS, it's much better than the Wii, I think. There's more many games in there, so many, but... They could have done it a little bit better, like caught Mario and Sonic at the London 2013 Olympic Games. Not again, they could have done. Then we got Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Yeah, you see, it's basically see, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, but now it's only one new one, Winter Games. Yes. Wow, so fun. But then we got another version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, but now on the DS. I don't know how good it is, but I've never played it. Again, why would they copy it again and again and again? Then this is actually a very good game, this was. Mario Kart 8. It was actually one of the very best games that I've probably played. But then, a couple of years later, we got another version of Mario Kart 8 called Deluxe. Called Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. They copied it all over from the Wii U to the Switch. And there's only one new playable character, you unlock nothing, only gold Mario, and the cart bits only. So, why would they copy every game over, like, from the Wii, and then put it onto the Wii U, then to the 3DS? Why? Then we've got Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. Now, this was actually the, quite, probably the first 3D game for the Wii U. Well, not the first one, like, it's a good game, like, you have about five characters that you can play with like multiplayer but you have to unlock the fellow you complete the whole game you have to unlock everything with all the characters and get the, play the whole game again five times and then we got Super Mario 3D Land for Nintendo 3DS yep it's but it sound, sounds very much like 3D World but they called it Land this is basically like Super Mario Land on the Game Boy Game Boy here yeah. It's not much really, like, three characters were removed from the game. They removed Rosalina, Peach, and Toad, yeah. And all, all, you, all, all you have is, is Mario and Luigi, only two characters, where the other one had five. Come on, Nintendo. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you would like me to continue and doing some more of how, why Nintendo... I mean, Nintendo have copied games over and over again. Please do leave a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments 
how you thought of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.